What's up, crochet cousins? It's your girl, Lala, the owner and doll designer of the Christian Crochet Addicts. Now, I know you're here for the yarn, but today I cut my hair and I wanted to share it with you. But before we get into that, let me share something else with you. I have a wonderful contest going on on my website. It is the Imaginary Friend Contest. And you have the opportunity to create your very own imaginary friend. No detail is too big or too small. Just go ahead and go to my website. It's listed below and you can have some fun enjoying that. So I started off doing my hair and I said, hold up. Mm -mm. Y'all need to see all that. So that's much better. I put on my shirt and I started combing out my hair. Now I'm using a white tooth comb. I also do realize that this is a horrible angle. We're going to start off with this angle, but don't worry. It gets better. I started realizing like this is not a good angle. So as you see, I'm coming in close on my sides and the back portion of my hair is short because I had it cut in a mohawk in 2019. I shaved off all my hair and then I started growing off the growing out the top and I started just doing the side shaving down the side. So this is the length that it is from September. So in order for me to be able to check out and see what's going on back there, I have to put the top portion away, which is the longest part of my hair. I am using an elastic band to put it in place. And this is what it looks like front and back, y'all. And so I do have a little bit of alopecia in the back, um, right and left side. The left side is worse than the right side. That's another reason why I shaved it off. So I am going to be using hair scissors for the girlies out there that always tell people don't be using those kitchen scissors. Okay, so um, I am using a fine tube comb as well. It is a pinpoint or needlepoint comb. Um, it gets more precise um, parts than a rat tail because that thing is sharp. So I'm looking at my ends and honey, they are looking real healthy. They're giving just clipped. They're giving just chopped. So I'm not going to mess with them. I'm actually going to leave them alone. I'm not going to clip them at all. They are very uniform. Um, like I said, I used to get my side shaved the last time that I I had uh, the side shaved off was in September. So they're looking real good. Per, per, we're going to leave you alone, girl. You're looking good. So now I'm going to part my hair into four sections. This is my white tooth comb and it does have a rat tail at the end of it. Um, we are going to comb out those ends and part it in down the middle first. And then we are going to part across. See those ends? I want you to really check it out and see how bad they look. Um, they are real scraggly. And I could tell just because when I comb my hair, if my comb is starting to get caught inside of um, my hair at the ends, I know it's time. If they feel really dry, I know it's time. Also, I mostly wear my hair curly. I don't blow it out straight often. But I, within the last couple of weeks, been blowing it out um, on low heat. And I started noticing, like, y'all need to see my laundry. I, I was, uh, it's on the floor back there. Yeah, y'all need to see all that. <laughs> I was separating clothes so you could see the pile of clothes on the floor. But anyway, um, I started noticing that it felt very dry on the ends and my comb was getting caught. So that's how I know my ends are damaged. And you could just look at them. Um, because I wear my hair curly all the time, it's not easy to tell all the time when it's time to trim those ends. I was trying to press it up against my shirt and then I realized, hold up girl, you need to change shirts. So now we got on a white shirt, so let's do it right so that everybody can see it. You see we had a better angle. The lighting is popping. And let's get the um, clip, clip, clip started. So when I do the back region of my hair, I always pull it forward like this. I hold it in between two fingers so that I know where to cut. Now, I know where to cut because I do this all the time. It's the darker area where I will cut. Um, that's when you're doing a full trim now by right I should be cutting right there right there I should be cutting right up there and some people might say no girl that's too far back no it's not no it's not those ends are dry straggly but I'm not doing a drastic cut mm -hmm. I am cutting most of the dead ends off so here we go let's go on and jump into it now these scissors are brand new but um, like I said, they're not the best quality scissors. Scissors, they are goodies. But I got them from I think the Dollar Tree, honey. But they are here shears. So um, we are going to part it little by little. I think that um, I'm not a hair, I'm not a professional, but um, I do know how to take care of my hair. I've been doing my hair since um, 
uh, actually elementary school because my mother never really knew how to do hair. My aunt would braid my hair. My aunt really took care of my hair most of the time. My grandmother, she would do my hair as well. But my mom was uh, a ponytail diva. She didn't um, take care of my hair. She didn't um, moisturize it well. Um, she didn't trim my ends. So my aunt really took care of my hair. And then I started doing it elementary school. Um, started taking care of my hair since then. I have been natural all of my life. The last time that I ever had a relaxer. Now, I know people say, wait a minute, how were you natural all your life? But then you said the last time you had a relaxer. Okay, let me explain. When I got married back in um, 2000, um, God, I don't know when I got married. Hello, girl, get it together. So when I got married in 2009, get it right. When I got married in 2009, for some reason I wanted to relax my hair. I was like, you know what? I'm going to relax my hair. Now I have had it relaxed. Um, there were times on special occasions that I had it relaxed, but I never was consistent. I wasn't the type of person that got it relaxed. And then four weeks later or six weeks later, I got it relaxed again. So I never was consistent with relaxing my hair. So the last time my hair ever had relaxer in it was in 2009. The majority of my life, my hair has just always been natural. I love big hair. I did not like how, um, you know, perming my hair or relaxing my hair made it really thin. Um, it was great for when you are on vacation and, you know, you're doing your thing. But uh, -uh no. So now I'm working on the other side. This is still working Um I did the back. So now we're starting, you know, excuse me. I did the back on the opposite side. So now I'm doing it on this side and I'm doing the same thing. I'm pulling it forward. I am not focused on getting it even at this time. I am focused on getting rid of those dead ends. That's all I care about. And that's what you should care about too. Then go in and worry about, okay, is this even? Okay. So I will show you how I kind of sort of even it out. Um, as best as I could because keep in mind I am working on my own hair notice how that comb is getting stuck notice how spry it looks on those ends it looks terrible um, I know I should be cutting more but right now I'm just dusting not really I'm a little more than dusting because dusting is when you just do those little tips but um, no I'm getting a little more than dusting I, I am going to cut it again in about two months because I know my hair, it grows pretty fast. Now, don't go buy any of these videos on YouTube, guys. Go buy your hair. You know how your hair grows. You know when your hair is damaged. Cut it, okay? Don't be afraid to do it. Don't think, oh, God, I'm going to lose length. Honey, you want to lose length anyway because it's going to break all the way up the shaft. That's what's going to happen eventually. If you have slight splitting, like really tiny splits, there is an opportunity, there is a chance that you can save those split ends. Ends, excuse me, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. People always ask me, how do you grow out your hair? I keep my hair moisturized. For the most part, my scalp is always pretty moist, so I do not put grease in my scalp only as needed only as needed. So sometimes we get into a routine and we just say, all right, I'm going to moisturize every three days like old girl said, or I'm going to spray my hair with a little olive oil and water like old girl said, or how my classmate is or how my coworker does. You can't go by that. Notice I cut that big chunk because I know that was a lot of dead hair. I'm not holding on to the dead hair, honey. I no longer need it. It's, I have no use for it. It's only going to break up the shaft. If you want longevity, if you want length, you got to cut those dead ends. You got to get rid of it. That is the only way that you're going to grow healthy hair. The hair on the ends is the oldest hair. That is the oldest part of your hair. So, honey, it is time for those elderly senior citizens, excuse me, those seasoned hairs to go. <coughs> I can't stress this enough how important it is to get into a normal routine of trimming your ends. Even if you don't do it, go to a professional. I started really focusing on my ends um, during the pandemic. And I said to myself, listen, I can't come out of the pandemic bald headed. We did this already. I did shave my entire head back in 2019 due to health reasons as well as just my hair wasn't healthy and I was working out a lot and my hair is super thick so it did not dry. Shameless plug, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. On the normal circumstances, I am talking about crochet and fiber art. Um, here are all of my social media outlets. You have no excuse. Again, I have an imaginary friend contest and you do have to follow me on all 
all of those social media outlets. This is one of my latest tutorials and let's get back to the hair, shall we? So now I am working the front. We've already finished the back. So notice that I am holding the front differently from the way that I hold the back when I um, cut it. I'm not trying to really shape it in any kind of way. The goal, again, is to get rid of those dead ends or at least the majority of it. Um, I did not car cut far back as I should because by right, I you should be cutting in the dark area. You see that? That is where I should be cutting, right there. I should be cutting right there, but we are going to go down a little bit further. You see the dark part? In between my fingers that is where I should be cutting further back right there because that's healthy hair but we're just gonna get rid of those dead ends from now the most the majority of it and release we looking good girl you go ahead and I'm gonna flip it back and then I'm going to do the opposite side comb it out real good with that fine tooth comb and work my way to the ends and guys I'm telling you you could feel and um, a friend of mine asked me how do I know you know I need to cut my ends girl I could feel it that's why I blow dry it I never cut my ends while my hair is curly even though 90% of the time I wear my hair curly I never cut it curly because I can't see the dead ends when it's like that. I could really see it when I blow it out. There's no denying it. Um, yeah, we definitely need to clean that up. And, um, you know, I just flip it over and hold it in between my fingers. And you could see again, you see where it looks really, really dark. That shows you right there where that is healthy hair. It is thick right there. We're going to get rid of those thin, itsy bitsy pieces. Cut a little bit at a time, guys. Trust me. Um, it's going to take you a little longer, but cut a little at a time. Because once you cut, you can't get it back. If you cut a little, you're fine. You can always cut a little bit more off and work your way up. You do not want to cut too much if that is the goal. And me, I'm just trying to grow my hair back out. Again, I told you I shaved my head a few years ago. So um, I'm going back to um, just wearing long hair. My hair has never been down to my butt. I'm not trying to get it that length. Um, I don't know if I want to deal with it that long. But my hair has been um, past bra length length. Um, it has been past my breasts. So um, let's let's try to get back to that. You know, I'm trying to relive those um, young days in the military where I couldn't even wear my hair how I wanted to. We always had to have it in a bun in the military and I always had to have it up. So I never really got to enjoy it when it was at its longest. So I'm just trying to get back to that, back to my healthy hair and taking care of it and just letting it all grow out. So again, I'm on the opposite side. I'm going to do the same thing that I did on that side. I always like to check my ends and there you see it. It's looking crazy. Don't ask why I flip my hand over like you can see this pretty brown skin and this dark brown hair. They like practically camouflaged. <laughs> I didn't have my coffee, so excuse me. But um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to cut them off so that you can see how I do it. And uh, we're almost done. Um, Because I don't have much hair in the back or the sides, it's really not a lot of hair. Like, it looks like I have a lot of hair. And when I, wear, when I wear it down, of course, people can't tell that my sides are shaved. And they can't tell the back is shaved. And if I really, really gel down the front now because it has grown, I could put it in a ponytail and nobody will know that my hair is cut. Like, they, they don't even know that it's short around the perimeter of my hair. Um, it looks crazy, but I mean, you know, see that that is a lot of dead ends and keep in mind, I had my ends cut in September and we are now in February. So yeah, they got to go. They got to go. If you don't do it again, it will work its way up the shaft. Um, I do need to cut more as you can even see against my shirt. You could see it. So um, one side is thinner than the other side. I could tell because that's the side I lay on. So, and the most people that, that's how everyone's hair is. One side is usually thinner than the other side. Um, we don't really notice it until we play with our hair. So that is the sides. It's all done. So now I am going to, I think I twisted it up and put it out the way. Let's see what I do. Okay, so I decided to clean it up a little more, I think. 
that's what I'm doing. Yep, I decided to clean it up a little bit more. Again, I don't really wear my hair out straight often, but I've been wearing it um, straight, um, you know, for the past maybe three weeks. Um, I don't do much to it. I might twist it and just leave it. Um, it's not bone straight, but exactly how you see me doing it. I just twist it. I spritz it with a little oil and a little water um, the night before. And then in the morning, I undo the twist. And that's how I wear it. Um, I guess it's kind of like a twist out, kind of, sort of. But um, it's super straight. It's super stretched. So um, it's not like my regular twist out. So now that we are hitting the center, the top, the crown of the hair, I'm just going to go ahead and comb it forward. You can see, ooh, look at those ends. Oh my gosh. Um, I would go back to the beauty parlor, even though I do cut my own ends. Um, I would definitely go back. I love when someone else does my hair. Um, I actually had an appointment scheduled in Philly because now I live in Pennsylvania. I moved from New York. Um, and in the area that I'm in, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. mm-mm. I'm not going to say anything else. That's mm -mm, no, ma'am. So I haven't found a place here that I am comfortable with that could do hair. But um, I did hit up somebody in Philly and it's two hours away. And like I said, I'm from New York. I drive to New York. It's only two hours away. So um, I was very surprised. You know, of course, Philly has a lot of beauty parlors and this person follows me and, you know, we're mutual. So I said, I'm going to go to her beauty parlor, but a pipe bust in her beauty parlor the day that I was supposed to go. And um, I guess I'm supposed to reschedule. I was about to say that she never rescheduled me, but um, she did cancel my appointment. And I had no way of knowing when the shop was back up and running. So, um, and she didn't tell me, but, um, I think, I, I think I'll hit her back up. I think I'll hit her back up. I'm, I'm think her shop should be up and running. I mean, it's been a month. So, um, I would definitely have her take care of my hair. She is a natural, um, hairstylist. She has her own products and stuff like that. I might put her information in the description if I remember, but awesome woman, awesome, um, serial entrepreneur. She has her own accessories and bags. I own two of her bags. Um, again, she does hair products. I haven't tried any of her hair products yet, but I was waiting to sit in that chair, honey, for her to do my hair. And I was actually going to purchase her kit. So, um, stay tuned. I'll share that, got that adventure with you guys. Um, um, I definitely uh, want to make sure that I maintain the length in my hair and that it grows out healthy. So even though I'm not a hairstylist, um, I do know how to take care of my hair. As you see, it is long and it's been much longer than this with me just taking it. And look, I know you don't come for me my, for my part. I know it's, I know it's crooked. It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. It don't matter. I'm not cutting it in a style. I'm just trying to get rid of the dead ends. <laughs> So this is how I do the crown again. And look, even on the wall, you see that? Even even on the wall, because my walls are white, you can see those ends looking crazy. I just can't believe how crazy it looks from September to now. And that's only September, October, November, December, January, February. Oh no, that's a long time. That's six months. You know, so every three months I really do try to check my ends. So that is a long time. I keep saying it like it's not that long ago because it feels like it. And now I think I'm down to the last piece. Yay, yay. And again, it feels so dry at that those ends right there. It feels super dry. Like you just can't, when they're dead, they're dead. That's exactly what it is. They are dead. There's no reviving, no rejuvenating. They are gone. They're very spry. They are very dry. And it will not take in or retain any moisture. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right. <laughs> Let's focus. So I'm stepping back just so that you could see um, the ends. And now I'm pulling it all the way down because they're still scraggly and it's super rough. 
I can tell that those are really damaged. And there we have it. That's the last for that piece. Now I am going to check out those little bits right there in the front because they are manipulated a lot. We brush them. We brush them back, especially if you wear your hair in a ponytail. It's always best to go around um, your edges like this, like so. Um, just to check out those ends too because they are usually a little shorter than the rest of your hair. So I am going to make sure that I snip snip that area as well. Even though it isn't too bad, but I can definitely feel it. I could feel how rough and damaged it feels. So I'm going to go right there where the healthy hair is and snip it off. I did it a little crooked, so I was just straightening it out, um, which isn't necessary because, honey, I don't care about that. Um, now I'm going to comb it all down and I need you to check out the back. I mean, tell me about the back. You know what I'm saying? Is it giving, is it giving looking healthier? Is it giving, um, no girl don't do that no more? Or is it giving you did I in the back? What is it giving? Cause y'all only y'all can see it. What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it doing? <laughs> I know it's not perfect, but honey, it's the, the, the moral of the story is honey, take care of your hair, get those dead ends off. Um, don't worry about um, if you don't cut it right, meaning the only way you can mess this up is if you cut too much and it's always going to grow back. That's why I say cut very little at first and then work your way up. As you see, there are some pieces that I cut more than once because I did not cut exactly where um, it should have been cut at. I, I definitely just take my time. Take your time. Love your hair. I'm putting it back in a ponytail because now I explained to you before that I do wear my hair blown out um, or stretched, I should say, because I don't necessarily use the blow dryer. So right now I'm just trying to see how they look like this. Just checking my ends, trying to even it up a little bit. And it's not much I'm cutting. I'm just cutting it because right now um, it's not about the damaged ends. It's just about, you know, making it look a little cleaner. You know, so when I do wear it down or if I do decide to blow it out straight, it will look neat. And we won't have any stragglers. Because just like the school saying, no child left behind, no hair is left behind, honey. We're going to make sure we try to get it right. <laughs> And this is my final piece. And this side always feels a little thinner than the other side. As you see, I just did three sections. And I'm sure the other side, I'm probably going to do more than three sections, but we'll see. I do not redo the back just because I can't see back there and your girl don't really care. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't care about the back. The main thing was to just get those damage ends together. That one was really off. So um, I was glad to be able to cut that one. And like you see, I'm cutting little by little. I am not going in with the scissors like a maniac. Um, take your time. It's possible. You can do it. It doesn't matter the length of your hair. Um, just take your time. Part it. Um, and it also depends on the style you're going for. If you don't want your hair to all be the same length, there are certain ways that you can cut it where you can shape it. So um, I do not have a tutorial for that, but I've seen them on YouTube. Definitely check those out. Um, there are so many um, beautiful naturalistas out there that will show you how to shape your hair. So if you're looking for a specific shape, you can actually trim your ends and shape your hair simultaneously. I did notice that the this needed to be parted. One, it felt a little too thick compared to the other pieces. Also, that front piece is a little shorter than this part. So that is why I split it. And I told you that this side is thicker than the other side. It's because I lay on that side, um, the opposite side. So that side is a little thinner. 
Shout out to my side layers. Um, you know what I'm saying? My daughter lays on her, sleeps on her stomach. My son sleeps on his stomach. And I'm trying to think. My husband, he he can sleep on his stomach or his back. Um, he has days where he'll just, if he's really tired, honey, he'll fall asleep on his back. I can't do that. <laughs> my back will be killing me when I wake up if I fall asleep on my back. But I'm a side sleeper for the most part. If you're a side sleeper, go ahead and put it in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Where my side sleepers at? <laughs> so I am pretty much done. Let's comb her out and let's see the damage. Okay. No more damage. It should be, you know, minimal. I should say minimal damage because like I said, I did not do a full trim. A full trim would have, uh, I would have removed all of the dead ends there are still some dead ends but it's much better than it was so um i'm just gonna part it off on the side a little bit and we're gonna put it in a ponytail i'm not gonna style it i'm not gonna um do anything else to it she's already moisturized um i like the way it's falling and flowing looking good in the hood like i said i'm just gonna do a side part and i'm gonna put it in a ponytail and then we're pretty much done. I hope that if you haven't ever tried to clip your ends, go ahead and try it, girl. Save those coins. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me, I'm not going to lie. I am that type of person that likes to go to the beauty parlor. I love for them to scratch my scalp and do my hair. But there are times when, you know, we got to do what we got to do. You can't wait um, until you get that appointment or have the money or whatever your situation may be, you still should know how to take care of it yourself. So there you have it. That's my ponytail from the back. Not too bad. Not too bad. Voila. But wait, I want to show you, this is all the hair that I cut. Okay. That's it. Let me show you a little more of the floor, just in case you think I'm lying. That's it. This is all the hair that was cut, all of the ends. So it's not a lot of hair at all. But just imagine all of those ends still there, breaking up the shaft. That would be a lot more. So guys, it snowed last night. Here's a look in my backyard. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section. Maybe I'll do more hair videos. Who knows? That's it. Peace and love. God bless.